Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. With us today, we have one of the most beautiful women I've ever done makeup on, Colleen Heidemann. She's back with us. And on her, I'm going to create a look that I, I find to be quite fitting for the spring season that we're in. It's fresh, it's vibrant, it's colorful, and we all need a little bit of that in our lives. So without further ado, if you want to learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. So to begin, I'm taking the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm and applying this onto the general areas of Colleen's skin before really massaging this in. You've seen me use this product time and time again in the skin prep process, which is funny because usually when you think of a cleansing balm, you think only of it as being used to remove makeup, not before it. But the reason I enjoy using this beforehand is because it cleanses the skin in a way that doesn't strip it of its natural oils. It breaks down any uh, dirt, or pollution that has accumulated throughout the day up until this point and it just leaves the skin feeling soothed and hydrated. To remove it, as you see here, I just use a warm washcloth. Of course, you don't want to leave any of this on and, and, and put makeup on top of it or else it'll just break apart the makeup and it'll, it'll have you looking crazy. So you'll want to make sure it's completely removed in a gentle way. Once I've done so, I'm then going to take this Clarence Double Serum along with the Plexiglass Illuminator and I'm applying a little of each into the palm of my hand like so before mixing it together and applying it on. I've mixed these two together because the serum itself is a, is a thin, lightweight formula that hydrates the skin, but mixing in the Plexiglass Illuminator with it will just take it to a, another level. It gives it that beautiful glass-like effect to your skin, but without looking heavy or um, like glittery, you know what I mean? And you can mix plexiglass into anything, your, your moisturizer, your serum, your foundation, and it'll transform it into a radiant glowy finish, but without having you look like a disco ball because we're, we're shearing out the pigment with the skincare. And you can apply it on top of the makeup as well. I'll show you later on how I do that. But first, let's apply on the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Stromboli. I start out by just quickly applying this to the general areas of the face before I take a makeup sponge and begin diffusing this out. You can barely even see this on the skin, really. It, it's such a great color match. And I'm going in with a very, very light amount of coverage today. Usually when you've seen me do Colleen's makeup, we, <laughs> we go full glam. I go heavy with the product, the foundation, the concealer, the contour, the bronzer, lots of powder and, and, and all that. But today we're going to keep it really quite simple in terms of the application and keep everything a bit more wearable. Besides, she has such incredible skin, it's going to be nice to let it shine through without feeling like there's tons of makeup packed on. So I'm taking my time with this, really pressing this foundation into the skin. Now, once I'm done here, I'm then going to use the KVD Beauty Locket Concealer in the shade Light 3 and apply this to the under eye area. I chose this shade because it's a couple shades lighter than her foundation color, which will brighten the under eye a bit, but it still has that golden yellow undertone to it. So everything will still be in uniform with each other. This is a full coverage concealer. A little goes a long way. And just like the foundation, I'll blend this in with the sponge, which will soak up any extra product that's not needed. And even though it's been a little while since I've used this concealer, I will say that the, the formula is quite blendable. So you can take your time with this. It wasn't until recent that I had picked up a few shades of this concealer because Sephora had it on sale for like half off or, or something. They still might, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll put a link down below so you can check it out for yourself if you want. But I will find myself using this more to see how it performs on different skin types. As for Colleen though, I, I think it works beautifully and it, and it gave me exactly what I'm looking for today. Next up, I'm using this One Size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio, and I'm using the cream blush in this palette to add some color to the apples of her cheeks. The shade of this blush palette, by the way, is, is called Very That. It has three different formulas in it, a cream blush, a matte powder blush, and a shimmer powder blush. I like to apply on the cream blush first, blend it in as you see here, and then later on, I'll use the powders to amp up the look. After this, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Loose Powder and using this to set the liquid products into place. Now you can use this all over the face if you want, but what I'm doing here is I'm more so focusing this placement 
in the T-zone and around the eyes. I definitely want the concealer underneath the eyes and on the eyelids to be set into place so the eyeshadows we later use are easy to blend. This powder is, is so, so beautiful. It's finely milled, so it doesn't make your skin look cakey. And it's completely translucent, by the way, so it's not gonna shift the color of your foundation either. But I will say, a little does it with this powder. Less really is more, I promise you. Once I'm done applying this on, I'm then gonna begin on the brows using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe, and use this little by little to begin creating a brow. I do take my time with this, so I, I'm gonna speed this footage up a bit so you're not sitting here all day, but you'll still see the whole process. This is the pencil I always use on Colleen. I really like the shade for her. I can keep it soft looking, or I can build it up for a more dramatic style. That's one thing, or one of many things I love about Colleen. She loves a good, strong, bold brow. So that's what I'm gonna try to create here today. Once I have this about 90% done, I'm then taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in the shade Medium Brown and using this to further define the shape. I have to admit, it, it does look more difficult than it really is. You can't really notice on camera, but up close, I can see her brow hairs and the shape they naturally go in. So she already has this beautiful lifted arch brow shape. I'm just bringing it to life a little with these products. You know what I mean? And you'll notice to keep this brow natural looking, well, not natural looking, but, um, you know, soft looking is a better way of putting it. I've kept the placement of the brow pencil and powder towards the outer two thirds of the brow. And then with a clean eyeshadow brush, I'll diffuse those product inwards, which will give a nice ombre effect rather than it looking harsh. So I'm going to complete the other brow off camera and then start on the eyes using this Too Faced Nude Eyeliner to run through her waterline. You'll see here that this instantly opens the eyes, giving it that awake, doll-like effect that makes for the perfect start to this eye look. Next up, I'm dipping into this shade here from this Wet n Wild Lights Off eyeshadow palette and blending this onto the upper lid. I'm focusing this placement mostly on the outer corner of the eye because this is where I want most of the depth and then diffuse it inwards and up towards the crease. And I only dipped into this shadow once. I'm not looking for you know, a real opaque finish to this. I just want a wash of color on the lid to give it a little something. And the same goes for the lower lid here. With a flat brush, I'm just stamping that shadow into the lash line to give it some dimension. The next shade is this black eyeshadow from the same palette, and with that flat brush, I'm using the same technique I used on the lower lash line, just pressing that shadow right in. And you'll see me here in a second take that first blending brush I used and go over everything to make sure everything is diffused and blended together. I will say, what's nice about this eye makeup is that it's timeless, it's easy to do, and it only takes one eyeshadow palette, which only cost a few dollars, and it comes with 10 different shadows. Speaking of which, I'm gonna dip my finger into one of these sparkly shades and pop it right onto the top lid. You know I <laughs> you know I love my glitter, so I couldn't resist using this. And I'm glad I did. It's not an over-the-top in-your-face glitter. It still looks sophisticated and adds a nice little sparkle to the look. So now for mascara, I'm using this Drama Bomb Extreme Volume Mascara from Oma Beauty and running this through her top and bottom lashes. I am adding on false lashes onto her today, so this is gonna help further define her lash line, while also help the falsies blend in seamlessly with her natural lashes. The lashes I'm using today is this style from Ardell. It's called uh, their Naked Lashes, I think. I'll link it down below too, but I picked these up from a makeup store a little while ago and I've been wanting to use them ever since. I do like how they add a, a light touch of glamour to this look without overdoing it. She likes them, I like them, so we're all happy here. And then heading back to the mascara, I'm running this through once more to assure that her natural lashes are bonded with the falsies. Now that we're done with the eye makeup, I'm using the matte powder blush from the same one size blush palette I used earlier and applying this right on. I do end up creating a bright, colorful lip on her today, so I didn't want the blush to be too overpowering to a point where it's competing with the lip, if that makes sense. I think it's all about balance here. We have the elegant, smoky eye going on. Uh, we have the soft looking complexion, so an extra touch of blush really pulls it all together, I think, for that youthful, vibrant look we're going for. And to really amp up the glow from within look here, I'm heading back to the plexiglass illuminator that I had used at the beginning of the tutorial in her skincare and use this as a liquid highlight. I do this by applying it to the back of my hand first, press the makeup sponge into it, and then lightly tap it onto the highest points of her face 
like the cheekbones, Cupid's bow, and tip of the nose. When I created this product, I really kept everyone in mind, all skin tones, all skin types, all ages. It's not a super blinding highlight that looks like litter all over the face. You know what I mean? It doesn't emphasize the skin in an unflattering way, which sometimes highlighters can do. This rather complements it by giving it that soft, expensive looking skin finish, which is exactly what I was looking for today in this look. Her skin still looks like her skin. It's not layered down by product, it's fresh, breathable and appropriate for any occasion. So anyways, moving on for the lip, I'm using this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade Romantic and applying this on with a lip brush. It was definitely a journey for me to decide on this lip color here. Originally, I was gonna do a nude lip because it's easy and it looks good on everyone, right? But we kept talking about it and decided, you know what? Let's go for it. I grabbed the brightest pink lipstick I have and figured, <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? If we don't like it, we'll wipe it off. But honestly, I'm so happy with how it turned out. This, this pop of pink brightened up the look. It's fun, it's youthful, and it's perfect for the springtime. And it's affordable too, like some of the other products we use today, which goes to show you don't have to break the bank to achieve a flawless result. And in saying that, I'm grabbing the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray to set and lock this makeup into place, which makes this the final step in how I created this fresh and vibrant makeup look on the naturally beautiful Colleen Heidemann. This is our time The dance floor is jumping Move me tonight Boy, you got something That makes me feel like I'm at the top of the world yeah. And there we have it, kids. I hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.